start with our first of the talks. It's uh, David Reinhardt, who, who joined our team in March and has been pulling up trees ever since. He's been a great addition. And he's going to speak about the Russell Library itself, which is one of Fusion's, the Architect Fusion's masterworks. So over to you, David. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome everyone to our virtual tour of the Russell Library. I came in all the way from Florida to present to you virtually. I'm kidding, of course. I live right down the road from here as of two years ago. I'm David Reinhardt, a library assistant here in the Special Collections and Archives Department, and I am delighted to be giving you our virtual tour of the Russell Library. So let's begin. As you see here, we begin in the County of Kildare. The background image was taken from our county ordinance map, which we have in the Russell Library. We have one book of maps for each of the Irish counties. The yellow bubble here at the top is an image of the map dated 1839, which contains the town of Maynooth, which is only a fraction of the entire map. So we zoomed into Maynooth for this shot. On this next page, we've zoomed in even more to hone in on St. Patrick's College. Within the green circle on this image, we see the original location of the college library, which was in St. Joseph's Square within Dunboyne House. However, soon after the production of this map in 1845, things were going to change for St. Patrick's College and the library. In 1845, the well-known British architect Augustus Welby Northmore Pugin was commissioned to design the St. Mary's Quadrangle behind St. Joseph's Square, which included the Russell Library. The neo-Gothic style building went up over 1845 to 1850, which also saw a large increase in the annual grant. Further, a capital grant of £30,000 was given under the Prime Minister, Sir Robert Peel. The College Chapel was left as a later project, which was built between 1875 and 1882. The spire was added between 1899 and 1902. One can get a sense of the Pugin design as we enter through and proceed along the cloister to the left. The image you see in the, in the center of this slide is the cover of a book we have about Pugin's neo-Gothic contribution to Maynooth College. Now we come up to the Russell Library door, its plain elegance hiding the wonderful Russell Library building and its rich historical collections. Let's enter the Russell, shall we? When we enter, we encounter the marble statue of George III, who is most famous for having said, you'll be back to my people in America. I'm joking. I just couldn't resist a good Broadway Hamilton reference. Back to King George III. St. Patrick's College, or the Royal College of St. Patrick, as it was then named, was established in 1795 by an act of parliament under the kingship of George III. This statue of George III was sculpted by John Bacon, who was the son of John Bacon of the Royal Academy. The statue was made from a single block of white marble and cost 2,000 pounds. It formerly stood in the Bank of Ireland College Green. Up the stairs we go. As we go up the stairs, I'll tell you a bit about the architect, Pugin, for which Pugin Hall was named. Pugin was the son of a French émigré who ran a drawing school in London. From a young age, Pugin developed his interest in drawing and architecture. It was through his Catholic patron, the Lord Shrewsbury, that Pugin came to take on the work in Ireland. Pugin's book on the merits of pointed Christian architecture suggests that he, a convert to Catholicism in 1834, favored the neo-Gothic style of architecture. He wanted to return to the faith and social structures of the Middle Ages. A key characteristic of this style is apparent in the 50-foot high hammer beam roof of the reading room. The frieze, which you see here on the left, contains a chronological listing of saints and philosopher and adds a contemporary flair to the design. The room has not changed much, much in the intervening years. Shelving on both sides of the room were placed between the long windows later, as was heating and electricity. The library was completed in 1861. Pugin took on many projects in his short life and probably overworked himself. He died in 1851 from nervous exhaustion. To fast forward about a century, in 1952, the Irish College in Salamanca, Spain closed. The archives and books were then sent here to Maynooth, along with some of its furniture. In the center of the reading room now stands the Irish College's rector's table. 
The Russell Library was used by undergraduates up to the early 1980s. After the completion of the John Paul II Library, the undergraduate books were moved from the Russell and Reading Room in the Arts Block to the new library. The Russell Library then became the Research Library and was named after Charles William Russell, former president of St. Patrick's College from 1857 to 1880. Today, the Russell Library contains many valuable collections. I'll give you a few moments on each slide to observe these treasures. We have the cuneiform tablets collection dating back to 3000 BC. We have Gaelic manuscripts. When they will look at this. There's nobody on it, just the video's not on. We have our pamphlets collection. Oh, sorry. We have uh, the Book of Hours. Our pamphlets collection. And our map collection. As you'll see here, these are the same maps I used at the beginning, uh, a little bit more zoomed out so you can see the book more complete. Some other collections we have include our pre-1850 print collection, Incunabula, and our architectural drawings. The main print collection visible in the reading room dates from 1500 to 1850. Its subject matter includes theology, history, ecclesiastical history, classics, science, languages, travel, biography, art, and antiquities. We also have a Bible collection with over 2,500 Bibles, which is, one, which is on permanent loan from the Hibernian Bible Society. Hugh Murphy, Head of Collections, will give a more in-depth view of our collections in the next talk. We are also connected with three archival collections, namely St. Patrick's College Archive, the Salamanca Archive, and All Hallows Archive. Readers come to the Russell Library to consult items from these collections that are cared for by two archivists for St. Patrick's College and All Hallows. We are open to our students, staff, researchers, and visitors. We have an annual group of visitors from Australia. We host summer school visits such as Gerard Manley Hopkins Summer School. We also welcome local schools and their exchange students to the library. Our work includes caring for the collections, more of that from our conservators, assisting readers, curating exhibitions, and responding to research queries. Our special collections have been central to teaching within the university. We support and collaborate with academic colleagues in teaching and curating exhibitions for departmental conferences. We have been involved in Heritage Week and Culture Night events and have opened our doors to the public since 2012. It... Sorry. Exhibitions we have showcased include Donal Obukala, a, a Maynooth 1916 volunteer, an Irish politician and member of the first Doyle, who served as third and final governor general of the Irish Free State and later served as a member of the Council of State. In 2018, in the lead up to the 100th anniversary of Armistice, and as part of Maynooth University's commemoration 2018 program, Culture Night visitors to the Russell Library had the opportunity to view the, count the Country House and the Great War Exhibition, which was a collaborative effort between the Center for the Study of Historic Irish Houses and Estates, the OPW Maynooth University Archive and Research Center, and Maynooth University. For Heritage Week 2019, our last exhibition, Pastimes, displayed materials showcasing, showcasing leisure activities such as travel, art, craftsmanship, and drew on our special collections and archives in the Russell Library and the John Paul II collections. The images of the flowers in this slide are from a book on gardening that we had on display for this exhibit. The picture on the left is special to me, and I wanted to share it as it is an image of the Creek tribe chief from the early 19th century, Macintosh. The Creek people are from my neck of the woods in Florida, so it was a real treat to come across this image in one of our books. That concludes our virtual tour. Thank you all so much for attending our Culture Night 2020 tour of the Russell Library. I wanted to quickly thank Susan for all of the work she put in to help write the script for this presentation. Her, her vast knowledge of the college and our collections is inspirational. Thank you, Susan.